We got the sleeves welded up to the uh, knuckles of the E30. Got them all welded up and we got them primed and painted so that we won't have any rust issues and now they match because of the black paint. Um, so now basically what we have to do is we have to screw the coil over into the knuckle. This will sit down about here and then we'll throw this whole assembly into the car and yeah, bolt it all in and then we should be good to go. Right, so what are you gonna do about that? Get new wheels and tires. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Why do I just feel like. You got some camber going on here, dog. Some good old fashioned natural camber. So the car can't turn, Corey. The car can't turn. It's like angled in. It can't go forward. It can't go forward. So we, we took like we took the world's it's most functional like clean E30, yeah. and Corey decided yeah. to yeah. just completely so remove the entire the purpose of. Oh. Yeah. So go here's, down an inch here's now. a real here's the real thing. Here's, here's the real thing. thing. I just need a, I just excuse me yeah. excuse me. Oh no, spring it. No, up. I have the spring up a little bit, thinking that that would have lowered it, but now I'm. I think that, I think yeah. I made it higher. Yes, that's what we're, okay. I have a second. So the back hand goes. So I have, I have a couple concerns. Yes. I'm really glad that you did all of this work. Super, super happy. Yes. But you removed the capability of driving it. Yes. You helped him with this. Yes. It's your job to teach. And you let this man, this guy <laughs> right here, I believe we have it on video of me telling him not to do any of the things he did. But if you were to do this, this is how you need to do it. That won't go anywhere. <laughs> uh, is it right? It's idling. Big cam. Big, <laughs> big cam. cam. That's a super <laughs> big cam. So we need oh, to figure out happens. wheels. Can we figure oh, out the measurements nice. for the proper wheels? Will that fix the problem? Yeah. There's yeah. so much sidewall on that tire. That is the issue. The but we need wheels. to get wheels at the same time. At wheels and tires at fitmanindustries.com, you can get yourself a full package, mount, balance, and shipped here to the lower 48, free of charge. Uh, what we're saying. Do you need a smaller tire? But we need wheels too. I want you to know that it looks really good. Oh, I know. And this would do great on Instagram because no one will ever know, need to know that we actually drive it. You can actually check out our Instagram at uh, hashtag forward slash whatever it's called, Fitman Industries, um, that we need to move it because we make videos and there's only so many times that we can keep something in place before we have to show people it works. Just push it around. Roller dollies. And we and just push it. A winch. You can't, that's a lot. Oh my God. You can't drive it. You weren't lying. There's no, no. you can't, you physically yeah. cannot. You're no. literally, that's you are on the fender. It's on the fender and the strut is into the tire. So how would a spacer help you in this situation? It, that's what I was saying. A spacer doesn't help. You need smaller tires. So on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z, we're going to find out what size wheels we need for this thing so that we can actually drive it around. <laughs> In the meantime, Corey's going to figure out what the they just did to the sunroof, and we're going to figure out how we can actually drive this car. No? Yes, Corey. <laughs> All right, so we have the coilovers on the car. Uh, we put the car on the ground, as I'm sure you've seen. And it's really, really, really low. Like, possibly too low. And the main problem is 
that we have these fatty, fatty 205-60 R14 tires. So those are basically just exploding up in this wheel while they're touching everything they can. They're rubbing on the coil over, they're rubbing on the fender, they're rubbing on the top of the fender liner. So we're just gonna raise the coilovers up a bit for now because the car is completely undrivable at the moment. And even though we are putting new wheels and tires on it, we just want to be able to have some fun with, with it for now. So yeah, I'm going to try to go up about an inch on either side just because, like I said, it was completely dumped down to the floor. Uh, there was like three millimeters in between the front lower valance and the ground. Uh, so yeah, that wasn't, wasn't exactly practical. Looks a lot more balanced. Yeah. All right, so at this point, we were going to explain to you all of the fun ins and outs of back spacing, front spacing, offset, wheel width, diameter, but it was really, really boring. I fell asleep while we were filming it. Jills fell asleep while he was editing it. The dog fell asleep. Alex fell asleep. Grandma fell asleep. The neighbors fell asleep. Basically, it was just really, really boring. So the conclusion that we came to was that we were just gonna tell you what size wheels we were gonna run because I've owned a couple of these cars, so I know what wheels to run. And that's gonna be a 17 by eight. We want around a plus 15 offset, but we're gonna have to put 20 millimeter spacers on the front because if you've ever had one of these, you know that the brakes are really, really small and that the hub of a standard wheel will not fit on there without spacers. So we're gonna do 17 by eight plus 30 in the front because that's the closest thing to a 17 by eight plus 35 that Cosmos has. And then in the rear, we are going with a 17 by nine plus five. And the reason that we're going with a 17 by nine plus five in the rear is that we have a little bit more room to work with. We don't have the strut in our way. And so without the strut in our way, we can play with a little bit more backspacing, have more room to work with, put a wider wheel on there for all of the 92 horsepower that we have coming out of this 318i. So yeah, there you have it. 17 by eight plus 30 in the front, 17 by nine plus five in the rear. And we saved you all of the boring details about how we got there and our nanometers and micrometers and tape measures and rulers. And I hope you enjoyed this montage of my voice. All right guys, while the car is lowered, we got it all slammed to the ground, but not too slammed to where we can't drive it anymore. Don't forget to subscribe, stay tuned for next week's build update. And as always, if you need wheels, tires, or suspension, head to www.fitmanindustries.com forward slash wheels. And uh, yeah, that's about it for this week. I'm Corey from Fitman Industries. I think you probably know that by now. I don't know why we say that after each video, but bye.